Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Jonathan Levitt and Jonathan Tisdall. This game was played in London in 1990. And where is London? London is the capital city of England and of the United Kingdom. Did you know that London has a diverse range of peoples and cultures? And more than 300 languages are spoken within its boundaries. People visiting London say they have seen some English people living in London too. Let's have a look at the game. Jonathan Levitt had white pieces and he started with d4. Jonathan Tisdall played f5, Dutch defense. Knight to f3, knight to f6, and Levitt played g3. This is the most popular way to play against Dutch defense e6, bishop to g2, d5, Levitt castled kingside, bishop to d6, black is basically playing stonewall, dutch, c4, c6, it is white move, b3 is the most popular move in this position. In our game we have bishop to f4. Bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, black castle kingside, knight from b to d2, bishop to d7, queen to b3 attacking the pawn on b7, b5, which way to take? Or oh, what would you do? Levitt played c5, the best move, a5, knight to e5, bishop to e8, king to h1, what is the purpose of this move, what do you think? White is making the room for the rook on g1, rook to a7, Rook to g1, bishop to h5, bishop to f3, bishop takes bishop, knight from d takes bishop on f3, knight to e4, threatening knight takes pawn on f2, rook to g2, this is the move that white would play anyway, white wants to double the rooks on g file. Queen to c8. What is the purpose of this move? Black queen is protecting the pawn on c6. Idea is to play knight to d7, but first black wants to play rook to e7 and then knight to d7. Rook from a to g1. Rook to e7. Knight to g5 and black played knight to d7 as planned. We have reached the most interesting position of the game. It is white to move. What would you do? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Ready? Did you pause? What did you find? Jonathan Levitt sacrificed the knight on h7. Would you play this too? King takes knight. Alternative move is knight takes on e5. Then knight takes on f8. And after knight to g4, knight to g6, and black is still worse off. Or if you wish, white is better. So we have king takes knight on h7. White move. How would you continue? Knight to g6. Forking two rooks. Queen to d8. It is white to move. How would you continue to attack? On black king. Or perhaps you would just capture the rook. What is the strongest move for white? Well, 
White Queen is not participating in the attack on Black King, is she? So how would you involve the Queen in the attack? Queen to h3. This is the move asking to be played, isn't it? This is check. King to g8. Check. King to f7. The obvious move. Knight takes rook. Knight takes knight. Rook takes on g7 check. King to e8. It is white to move. White play the move and black designed. What is the move? This is what Jonathan Levitt played. Queen takes knight check. Black resigned in view of this continuation. King takes queen. Then check. King to f7. Rook takes queen. Black could have continued fighting for a bit longer with knight takes on f2 check. Then king to g2. But after knight to g4, rook to c8. The pawn on c6 can't be defended. Two rooks are stronger than a rook and a knight. Not to mention that there is a pass pawn on h file. So we can stop here. And let's go back to that very interesting position at move 20. Did you see the killer move? If you did, congratulations. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt. And bye for now.